As one of the Huskies' 11 new faces to the program last year, John Stevens knew he could play an immediate role given the opportunity. Touted as one of the most dynamic players on the Northeastern team, it came at no surprise that Stevens helped lead his Dubuque USHL team to the Clark Cup the year prior and won the team's Rookie of the Year honors. Though before any of that, he knew he wanted to be a Husky. How did you find your way to playing at Northeastern? Well, I was playing at Salisbury School in Connecticut, uh, prep school, and I went there my junior year. Um, finished out my junior year, and then beginning of senior year, I started talking to Northeastern a little bit. Um, I came on a visit, and I just really, I love the campus, I love the coaching staff, and I thought this was a really good spot for me, so I mean, my family talked it over and decided that this is the best spot for me, so I decided I was going to come play at Northeastern, and then went to play a year in Dubuque, and then came here last year as a freshman, so. Uh, the year in Dubuque was yeah. definitely a great experience. Um, I was there with Mike Spatula and Matt Benning, my two roommates here at school, and uh, we got us to a really hot start. Um, we were like first place in the league for a good amount of time, and, and then uh, we went all the way and ended up winning the Clark Cup, so that was definitely a great experience. And Our coach in Dubuque really always just talked about was, like, learning how to win championships and learning how to win. He just talked about the three championships we had a chance to win and wanted to make sure that we took each one of them seriously because like, you have to learn how to win. It's, it's not easy to win. So, Well, in Dubuque, you played in the USHL where a lot of hockey these guys usually come mm -hmm. from. Did you know that it was going to be a competitive league that you were coming into? Yeah, I definitely knew it was going to be a competitive league, but I didn't realize how competitive it really was going to be. Um, coming in last year, every game so tight and the standings change right down to the wire, but it definitely helps to play against guys that you're going to play against the following year. and to kind of know some of the competition, know the players a little bit. So that definitely helped big time. And I know in junior, we just we had a good group of guys and we all came to the rink every day wanting to get better. And like we had fun on the ice, had fun in practice. And we were a really close team like off the ice, just re like really tight. And I think that was really important. And here we just wanted to be the same way, just come in, work hard, uh, just kind of bring like a positive vibe to the rink. And the older guys really did a great job with, they brought us in right away and made us feel part of the team. And, that was one thing that really was similar between our team in Dubuque and our team last year is that we were like a really close team last year and I think that definitely is really important in establishing a winning culture. It's not often that a freshman gets to come in and gets to be in the lineup every night and produce for a Division I team in Hockey East, but you did last year. You played in all 37 games for the Huskies. What kind of confidence did that instill in you going into the season? I mean, yeah, last year was definitely awesome. We had a young team, four freshman centers, so we all got to play a lot and really put us in key situations right away. So I think just learning from what I learned last year and trying to build off that uh, helped me a lot this year. And we have so many returners, too, that you're familiar with a lot of guys in the lineup. You have chemistry already. So I think just trying to build off that last year and kind of taking that knowledge and taking it one step further is what all of us are trying to do this year. So. Tell me a little bit about your head coach, Jim Madigan. He's very well respected in hockey. He's, what's it like playing under him and his coaching staff? You know, he's, he's really passionate. He's passionate about the game, passionate about the school. So, And when a coach is that passionate, you come to the rink every day, it's easy to want to practice and want to get better. Um, you know, he really, he really stresses the little things, which is, we all know how important they are. So, like the little details of your game, he's all over that. And just bringing energy and life to the rink every day, which is, it makes it a fun atmosphere. To practice and do you believe a lot of his passion comes from getting to play here at Northeastern he was a student athlete here as mm -hmm. well so does he get to talk to you any about that or yeah for sure you can tell it comes out when he starts like coming on game day like like he, he played here he knows what it's like he knows our routines and like he had success here too he won two bean pots and you can see that he wants that for us too like he wants us to have success here so he's definitely trying to instill that winning culture and I think we've taken steps forward to doing that so with an ever-present coaching staff helping him develop his collegiate game, Stevens has had hockey instilled in his life from a very young age, from a man who coached his way to two Stanley Cups. His father, John, not only played in the NHL, but is the former head coach of the Philadelphia Flyers and is currently the assistant coach for the Los Angeles Kings. With hockey being the family business, Stevens wanted nothing more than to follow in his father's footsteps. I started when I was really young, probably around three or four, and like my dad started us out, me and my brother both, obviously, just being around the rink all the time, and uh, from the time we were four on, we just we played and never really stopped and just kept 
climbing different teams and climbing a ladder different places, but uh, my dad's the one who got us both started. Well, your father played a few years in the NHL, was a head coach in the Philadelphia Flyers, now assistant coach in the Los Angeles Kings. What was it like with getting to grow up around him and in that professional culture? I mean, it was definitely a lot of fun. I mean, you're at the rink all the time. From the time I was really young, you're hanging around uh, the pro athletes and um, obviously the whole childhood was going to games and supporting my dad's team. So, I mean, it was a lot of fun. You definitely learned a lot of, a lot of things from watching those guys play all the time and watching them act and uh, just watching what it was like to be good pros. And I mean, obviously when I was younger, I didn't really get it and I just kind of went to the games, had fun. But like now, being older, I get to watch these guys and see how they conduct themselves and what their practice habits are like and stuff like that. So I've definitely learned a lot and it's been an awesome experience growing up. My mom, because my dad couldn't come to many games, my mom would always videotape our games and uh, we'd go home and watch with my dad. And we, we enjoyed doing that, me and my brother both. So, um, so always from when we were a little young, we'd break down our games and stuff like that. Like not too intense like, <laughs> like you'd think, but just kind of sit back and watch just so my dad didn't miss all the games. But still, he, even if he plays on the road, he's watching my game the next morning or calling me. And I mean, he, he definitely really enjoys it. He's definitely helped me a lot along the way. But. What was his favorite game to watch you in this past season? Um, definitely the, the Beanpot game because he doesn't get to come to many games but they were on the Olympic break last year so he got to come to the Beanpot and he was pretty blown away by the atmosphere and he never, cause my dad, he grew up in Canada so he's never seen really college hockey and so he was pretty blown away by that experience and really had a lot of fun coming to that game. Was it the championship game? Yeah, the game against Boston College. Where you had that goal for Northeastern? Yeah, that big game. goal. Yeah. Was he impressed? Yeah, I think he definitely had a lot of fun. He's very proud of both me and my brother, so he had a lot of fun. Northeastern finished last season ranked 19th in the nation. After a 19-14-4 campaign that saw the Huskies reach the Beanpot Championship game for a third straight season, and the return to the Hockey's playoffs for the first time since 2011. Stevens recognizes that to create the winning culture he so tirelessly strives for, he will have to build off last year's winning season. With all the knowledge and advice he's gotten from his successful father, the best he's received is to persevere, and that hard work will always pay off.